Which is better, this or this? Today we're going to find out. There's been a lot of talk lately about water filtration and the quality of water. As you all know, as we all know, um, water is not getting cleaner. We have to deal and be vigilant with how clean our water is while we're out in the outdoors. Traditionally, we've used water filters that were pretty primitive. In other words, they, they didn't really trap small enough particles to be able to, to stop certain things like Giardia, Norovirus, etc. And this is what I would call an advancement in that field. Down to 0.1 micron uh, are your standard water filters, whether it's a Bee Free, a Sawyer, etc. Lately, however, though, we have been seeing more and more of these on the market. This is called a SteriPen. This is defined a UV light that I wouldn't say, well, it kills viruses, it kills cryptosporidium, it kills just about everything in the water without an aftertaste or without actually swallowing chemicals such as what we get when we're using water tablets or some kind of chemical treatment to purify our drinking water. This is why I think filters such as these have been so popular because we don't have to consume chemicals in order to have dr clean drinking water because there are certain inherent dangers to that. So in comes the SteriPen to save the day. This is supposed to be revolutionary in what it does because it not only traps certain bacteria uh, such as E. coli but it also destroys viruses. Is it the next best thing? Is it what we should all be using? That's what this video is about. Let's dig in. Okay, first of all, what is a SteriPen? A SteriPen is basically a light bulb. That's it, it's just a light bulb. You remove the cap, there's a bulb there that has light in it, but emit, it emits UV rays in, instead of white light or regular white that we're used to seeing. Some of the main questions are its effectiveness. This has been proven to be very effective, very effective if used properly. However, there has to be a couple things that we need to discuss while we're talking about that. And number one, the number one thing is line of sight. So if you have water, you're using this and you have water that's got a ton of sediment in it, that light travels in a certain direction it hits that sediment and it refracts, bounces off that sediment. That's why I say swishing it around is probably the best so that you can get around all the little pieces of sediment in the water, even ones that you can't see. In order for this to be effective, I think this is the way we have to use it. They don't suggest you do it that way, but I think it's frugal to, to, do, to do that exactly. And that touches on the next subject sediment itself. You know, these filters remove the sediment. And again, it's something we may see or may not see. That sediment could be in the form of little twigs, rocks, you name it, just little particles, a grain of sand even. Uh, and a grain of sand, by the way, is probably the biggest source of bouncing that light. So, so how do you do it? Do you use both? Do you use one or the other? I mean, what, what is the right answer in a situation like this? Let's show you first how it works. A couple things to take note here. Number one, these two metal prongs that you see here, these have to be in the water while you're filtering. So in this case, we're doing half a liter, uh, almost two cups, not quite, but I believe half a liter setting would work just fine. So we would press this twice. So if you look at the screen there, once we plus, press it twice, it'll tell us to put it in the water and swish it around. SteriPen, put it in water, swish it around. See how that face is sad? We keep swishing it around and swishing it around, generally for about 45 seconds. 
We keep swishing it around. Here it's timing down, telling us at the top that there's three, two, one, and there's your happy face. That tells you you're done. One liter, this was the one liter setting. I made a mistake, I should have clicked it more. So here you can see that, you're, that we're done. Then you just put it back in its protective cover, snap it in. It's got little holes here so the air gets to the unit and dries it out. No bacteria will build up inside on there. And that's it. That's basically the whole thing. This technically now is potable drinking water. And here's, here's my thoughts on this, okay? While it's not perfect, it is very, very good. There's just no way, I think, without filtering the water first to take the sediment out, could you reliably say that it's, it's purified water. And I believe that's why they ask you to swish it around. And although I do want to believe it does work, uh, and, and I've, I've tried it. I've actually used it for, for a while now, but here's the other problem I have with it. Uh, it doesn't fit. This just, uh, I use smart water bottles on trail, right? And now I'm forced to have to use uh, different containers. You know, I mean, there's just no getting around it. This, this is, to swish this around in a tiny little bottle, top of a bottle, uh, is difficult. That's that's one negative. That's one downside to this. So for through hiking, that that is definitely an issue. And while we're talking about through hiking and how it applies to using one of these, this is I would say uh, probably about half an ounce heavier than a typical water filter that you would buy, like a Sawyer or a Bee Free or a Platypus, whatever you use, Grail, which isn't bad. I, I find that's pretty impressive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to test it. I'm going to go for an eight day hike with this. It is rechargeable and it is water, supposedly waterproof. Uh, it'll certainly withstand rain, so we don't have to worry about that. It has a protective cover, so it does protect the light bulb itself. So putting it in your pack, I would still be a little careful about how you store this in your pack. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the size, however, this is one of the bigger models, okay? This is not the ultralight. I, I thought to get the ultralight, but I, I figured, you know, ultralight's not always everything that, that you have. This has a bigger battery, a bigger capacity. They say I can do 100 filters, like, or, or 100 times using it uh, before I have to recharge it. That's, that's pretty decent, that's pretty good. Considering, you know, you get a filter such as this, and it can be used for a thousand times. So really you charge this 10 times and you're, you're, getting, you're getting the same thing. Now some people would argue about the filter, the bee freeze, you know, they say 10,000 10, liters. I don't believe it. I've never seen it in the history I've ever had them, even with the Sawyers. They just, they clog up way before then. So that's, that's not even, that doesn't even apply in my opinion. Let's talk about price. These are expensive. I'm not going to lie, these are expensive. I got the Ultra version, it's a little more expensive. The Ultralight version is lighter and it is cheaper. Uh, I paid $139 for this one. I could for $99 have got the Ultralight version. And it would have been around or just a little under the weight of my Be Free. Now when I say Be Free, I mean just the filter, not not the, the container or any, any other such thing. For me, with the Bee Free, you, almost, you have to have this bladder with it. So if we're gonna talk about like this one, for example, maybe not a Sawyer or something like that, but something like this, um, then we would have to talk about the container that the filter goes into as well. The nice part about this particular model, the Bee Free, is that you can actually put this in and and clean it like you can get the, the tip of this in right down to the, the metal conductors the metal I don't know sensors I guess they're called I'm not quite sure what they are it's all technical stuff so and that's that's the big issue I think for through hikers is getting it down into the bottle and being able to swish it around this is important 
What are my thoughts on this? My thoughts are that it's great. It's fantastic. I love it. I love the fact that it goes to another level. I love the fact that it allows you to, to kill not only bacteria, but viruses. On trail, at least on, th on through hiking, Giardia and norovirus are two really big problems on trail. Now, I haven't checked Giardia. I do believe this kills Giardia. Giardia, I'm not sure, is a virus per se. I do know it's a little parasite. I don't believe it's a virus per se, though. I'll, I'll do some checking and I'll, I'll put it in the comments below. But I, I am going to, to use this. And I'm going to try to use it without, without one of these and see what happens. What I might do is take a little cheesecloth or one of those, those little expandable cloths that you can buy. They're, they're quite popular now. They look like a little hockey puck and as soon as you put water on them, they just expand out. They're great. They're great for, for cleaning the sediment. So you could just scoop your water or, you know, actually what you could do is just put it over the top of your bottle, submerge your bottle, let the water come into the bottle through the cloth that would remove most of the sediment practically all of the sediment that you would notice while you were drinking it it would also make the filter or sorry the filter the steri pen more efficient because it wouldn't have to deal with all the sediment now mind you you still have to switch this around but i think i think this is worth looking at this is a piece of kit that i've been curious about for a while now a sick hiker is not a happy hiker. <laughs> it's just a fact. Uh, we want to keep you as safe and happy out there on trail as possible, and I think this, this goes a long way for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the content. If you do, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. It helps us. This channel is all about children. Um, anything that this channel makes via merchandise and or views goes to children and and I'm very proud of that that that's something that I work hard towards